Hello everybody, today we got another video today, um, how's everybody, uh, sorry I've been off the, the chair man, I've been watching, uh, just some anime, you know, let me know what you guys like down in the comments, what should I watch, I just wanna hear it, alright, we have a shiny Eevee team, um, uh, it's not the best team, I'm not gonna lie, uh, it's kind of like, um, like, why are you doing physical Jolteon, why is glaceon trying to be like a curse defensive pokemon i don't know this is just what it comes to my mind okay you can see everybody's items here uh we're facing black today um i love it dude that's my favorite color so as i you know i've already done a black team so very cool and can you know what coincidence quitting um dang i kind of forgot i didn't see uh who i started with but you know i'll, I'll narrate as we go because yeah this is this is what I do. <laughs> All right. So facing black here, um, he sends out the Verizon. Verizon. I, I don't even know how to pronounce that. Um, I start with my Espeon. It's a special attacker. Um, I think it has max. I think speed, so I can get up the reflect for sure. So uh, this is actually low key uh, at the beginning here. Uh, a leafy on sweep um you'll see how it happens but yeah uh anyways they went for a sword stance so now it's like normal you know what i mean uh i go for future sight you know if they decide to stay in go for another sword stance like you know we'll see what happens uh I go for a leaf blade uh if they get crits then you know that'd be really bad that was just normal damage and that did a lot of damage so I was, I was like, okay, so this guy, I don't know if he wants to stay in. I was thinking, all right, we'll I have a defensive leafy on. Let's send him in. You know, plus uh, the grass, I'll be able to live that because it's not very effective against me. I don't think it's going to go for a fighting because, you know, obviously psychic, you know, and fighting don't go well. All right. So yeah, switching out to leafy on, I was like, okay, if this thing decides to stay in, I can go for swords dance, do a lot of damage. You know, we'll see what we could do. Uh, they go for stone edge. That still wouldn't have done that much, even if it, I mean, if it was a crit, maybe. But, yeah, probably not even that much still. So, watch. Look, look at this leaf blade. It does, like, nothing to me. They're probably just checking. Okay, what's going on here? What are they doing? Why would they switch it in, maybe? You know, they're, they're checking. So, yeah, we just go for a sword stance. Uh, so, the future sight comes in clutch. Oof. Doesn't get the kill, which is actually pretty shocking to me. I was like, what? Uh, and there was no focus sash, so I was like, that's crazy. Uh, it just, it somehow lived, you know? I think that's just what happens when you ran max speed instead of the other one. Anyways, I just went for another Swords Dance. Uh, he switched out into Talonflame. Um, right here. Oh, yeah. I got off two, I believe. And this Talonflame, I think it went for like... I don't know. Brave Bird? Oh, no, no, no. It didn't. Uh, I kind of forget. Anyways, I was like, okay, this thing probably expects me to switch out or something. I was like, I want to make use of all my Swords Dance. And I still have the Reflect Up. I believe so yeah i went for the grass type move uh, i got it uh what happened is that they went for the flying type and it really didn't do that much and i lived the max flare after too because now they didn't have priority gale wings you know uh and this max outgrowth was gonna kill it because talent flame doesn't really have the best defenses because i mean i'm saying that's a lot of times three attack like i'm, I'm also max attack if i didn't already mention uh, so yeah, pretty bulky right now and physically destroying everything. I put up the grass terrain so I can get more health back really quickly right now, right? And then now my my reflect took off, so that definitely helped my leafy on here with uh, setting up. Just you know, saying. Uh, one second. Okay. Uh, here we go. Commenting again. Sorry, the video was just kind of pausing. Uh, but yeah, we're fine. Um. Uh, Let's see, uh, going for the max other growth on the Dragonite. I don't know if this was multi-scale because I thought it would live it actually a little bit better than that. But, you know, that is like coming off pretty strong. I'm not sure if that Hurricane would have killed me. It could have because I have no special defense EVs really. Uh, so that's kind of unfortunate that they miss a Hurricane. It maybe could have gotten a Confusion and that Confusion would have definitely killed me with all my attack bonuses. So, you know, that's kind of a bummer. Uh, so we're just going to go for another Leaf Blade. <laughs> Because we're going to take down this Dragonite. Uh, grassy Terrain is definitely powering up also. You know, to get a boost. I don't know if everybody knows that. So, you know, Grass-type could 
hit a little bit harder than you think. Just saying. Took out that Dragonite. Look at that. Leafeon over here. Shiny. Brown-ish. That's just what happened. He, he just turns a little bit brownish. He got a nice tan. So, you know, obviously, we all love, we all love a great tan. Who doesn't like a good tan? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, uh, they send in Blaziken. Uh, they don't they don't know I have Dig, so what happens here is I go for Dig, and it's actually kind of perfect because uh, uh, well actually I'm not sure that, I guess this person wasn't running uh, what should we call it Protect for some reason uh, because they didn't go for it right now as you'll see. Uh, <laughs> lol they go first and then i get to go second here which is kind of funny because they're gonna miss twice lol <laughs> so yeah going for the dig hitting it in one hit i mean doesn't have a focus sash nothing no protect like what are you doing what is going on with that blaze i guess it might be fully offensive i'm not sure the sun was up so the fire damage would have done a lot of damage honestly so that's good i wasn't even thinking about the sun <laughs> i just wanted to kill it uh, maybe it was also good that I think Blaziken learns Earthquake, I, if I'm not mistaken. I'm sure it does. I'm sure it does. Because Swamper does, Skeptile does. So, yeah. If it went for Earthquake, I don't know. That double damage, that might have been a good move. Uh, so, yeah. Going for Neutral Leaf Blade on the Garchomp coming in here. Uh, I was scared of the, of the rough skin, but, you know, it's fine. We killed it in one shot. Look at that. Look at that. That's crazy. Uh, I don't know how I outsped either. Like, I don't know. It's kind of crazy. Uh, I don't even have any EV. Which, come on. And uh, speed. It also doesn't have the the sun EV. Like, the ability that doubles its speed. Which I should definitely get on this. But, you know, it takes a long time to grind uh, those those ores. All right. So. Uh, sun and Tapu Coco. I was like, oof. Uh, you know, nice fairy type. Special on side. Can really do a lot of damage here so i think that's what they're thinking or something i do have to dig for super effective but i was like uh i think my leaf blade will do fine top coco is also not the most defensive pokemon in the world so yeah going for dazzling gleam uh oh it does a lot of damage i live on eight health amazingly and we take it out in one shot that is top of coco down with the crit now i don't know if that matters i don't think so getting some more leftovers yummy yum uh it's probably eating like sun bites. Get your sun bites. <laughs> okay. Uh, so Verizing comes back in. It's like at one health. I'm like, okay, I'm definitely going to take this down. I mean, it might be faster than me, but you know, that's the game we're playing. Uh, so yeah, you see it actually outspeeds me and I don't get the leafy on sweep. So I can't title it leafy on sweeps. You know, I can't. Anyways, uh, I was like, alright, what's faster than this thing? Let's just send in whatever, it doesn't really matter. Like, it's not gonna beat five of my Pokemon. Like, Eevee's, like, a pretty pretty, pretty good Pokemon, honestly, like, not gonna lie. Um, yeah, send in Jolteon. I was like, the Electric Terrain was definitely gonna help me take this down, but it doesn't even matter because I'm going for Pin Missile because why would I go for Pin Missile? Even though I have a 5% chance of missing, I could definitely go down to a hit. Uh, yeah, going for Pin Missile, and we take down the Verizon. Verizon, Verizon, uh, hit your boy up. I need a deal. Pay these bills. All right. Thank you, Black, Black, for the for the battle. That was a great battle. Uh, <clears throat> we're facing Frosty this time. Uh, I decided to go in for uh, Jolteon because I don't know. I was scared of the Lapras coming in. If uh, you know, if the Porygon was just like a basic Porygon, I could probably go for basic damage. And you know, Jolteon outspeeds a lot. So, yeah, we're just going for that. Hoping for the best. Oh, I like how he did, did that with, this, with the face. Uh, this guy's an engineer or something. Uh, anyways, they got a shiny Gardevoir. She's looking very pretty over there. Uh, shiny, okay, Jolteon. He's just looking like a lighter green color. Uh, Gardevoir definitely looks better. Like, I need to get myself a shiny Ralts for that. You know, the Gallade. Uh, so I was thinking, okay, I, I can go for maybe uh, a pin missile. Just maybe try to get a flinch or something. See what happens, you know. Uh, unfortunately, I missed that 5% chance. Like, how the fuck does that even happen? Uh, they definitely thought I was a special, so they set up the light screen. Uh, now they know I'm physical, so that's kind of a bummer. <laughs> I can't believe I missed. Like, maybe they have, uh, you know, bright powder. Like, maybe. 
I always think that. Uh, you know, I'm just very... I'm salty when that happens. Uh, we got Pen Missile on the Koga. This is definitely like a defensive one because I'm doing like noodle damage. So, what is this? You know, what the heck? Um, anyways, I went for the Paralyze. Uh, I got cut there. Uh, they went for Drain Punch. Uh, I was like, ouch, that hurts. Uh, I was trying to get it like a Flint or a Paralyze here. But uh, you guys will see that none of that happens. So, it's kind of a bummer. Uh, so, I was like, damn. If I didn't mention also, they set up a reflect. I believe they did. I believe they did. So I was like, all right, it's fine. I'm just gonna send in a, a special after. So they're going for Zen headbutts and they kill me one. And a couple hits there. Not not the greatest, not the greatest feeling here. So, yep, uh, waiting. Their light screen wore off, so that's great. So now my special attacks will be doing more damage. What was the plan here? I was like, okay, well, if this guy is special, I have a Vaporeon. That's pretty, pretty fine. I also has Acid Armor. I was thinking, oh, I can probably set one up at least and take whatever hits, you know. You know, that's what I was thinking. Or Leafeon, because, yeah, Leafeon's pretty already. But I was like, no, you know what? Let's just go for the kill with uh, Mentali, because I'm definitely faster, especially with the uh, Paralyze. And I was like, okay, Dazzling Gleam, whatever comes in will take pretty d fine damage. I think that's fine. Uh, I didn't want to risk getting killed by, like, uh, I think Gallade learns some dark. Does it learn Night Slash? I think it does. So I was kind of scared of that, so I was just going for damage. Of course, Gardevoir comes back out. I was like, yikes. Uh, that's great. That's fantastic. But uh, I, I did have a plan here. I was like, okay, we can go for Fake Tears and maybe do more damage after you know so that's why i went for there they just went for another light screen predictably uh i was like okay that's fine uh what they could also do right now is switch out so they can negate that but you know whatever comes in they're gonna have to take some a little bit of damage so that's fine you know only four turns so I was like, for another fake tears uh and i was like no nah, let's just go for dancing gleam whatever comes out comes in and they decided to stay in so i was like okay that's cool uh, not doing the most damage, and they also have Shadow Ball, so I was like, damn, that's not great, not very great. Um, <laughs> so here I was thinking, okay, do I have anything else to maybe do better against this? Should I just go for another Fake Tears, um, go for more Dazzling Gleams? I just like, okay, let's go for more Dazzling Gleams. I could probably just go for the Revenge Kill, and you know, that was the plan. It has a berry, so I was like, huh, maybe this is more... Uh, defensive definitely because their shadow balls weren't really like killing me which was kind of surprising yeah thank you Oof, so close like damn special defense drop doesn't really matter at this point i'm already super low damage i was like what should i do i was like right, i'm gonna go for reflect for once i kill this thing something else can just come in and you know definitely take out whatever and we'll be fine on the physical side and I was like, Umbreon's the perfect guy. You go for Snarls all day. I'll heal myself with Moonlight. Uh, it gets a little stall here. I might just speed this up, honestly. <laughs> uh, I think I do anyways in the video, though. I believe I do. Anyways, uh, you know, I'll just explain, though, as we go. So, going for Snarl, uh, trying to lower its special attack. It's going for Draining Kiss, which is actually kind of annoying because that's super effective. And, uh, damn... Look at that damage. And they're going to be healing up and stuff. So it's going to be doing. But they still have the minus two special defense. So that's the only thing going for me. I go for that. They get to lower their special attack. And now my special attack gets risen. So that's really great. And their light screen comes off. So now it's like, ooh, I'm going to do more damage. Uh, still didn't get the KO though. But because they got the more health from their uh, draining kiss. And I was like, that's so annoying. Uh, so anyways, they decided to withdraw. Uh, right here, I get an unfortunate miss. I say unfortunate because... Uh, damn, this Blaze game was so annoying. <laughs> it was really, honestly, a good Pokemon against me. Uh, but I did have Baby Doll Eyes, which always goes first. So I could always, you know, lower his attack. Whatever attack it's going to go for. Whatever, if it's going to... You know, I didn't know what this Blaze game was going to do. Uh, it has Brick Break. Oh, that destroys my light screen also. Or my Reflect, so... I'm not sure if that calculates the damage after or before. I'm really not sure, but 
I was like, damn, well, it has speed boost and break break. Okay, I'm just going to keep going for minus attack. So that way, you know, it's not going to do as much damage or whatever. You know, I can switch in whatever and maybe set something up, you know, depending on what's going on. So, yeah, we go for another baby doll eyes. <clears throat> Uh, just saying, I really, I don't know about that attack earlier. I missed it still. And look at that, I lived that, okay. And I was like, alright, I don't know what this thing's gonna do. I was like, should I go for another baby doll eyes? I was like, hmm, I was thinking, I was thinking mind games, you know. You gotta always think about that. Uh, I was like, maybe, <laughs> I don't know. So, I guess they withdrew. And I was like, what? That's crazy. Uh, they go into their Neuvern. And I was like, oh, geez, uh, this is going to be crazy. I wonder, like, you know, what's going to happen. Um, anyways, what had happened is uh, they switched back out because I went for a Snarl. Uh, because, yeah, I think they missed, like, a hurricane or something. And, yeah, I forgot what happened, actually, exactly. But <laughs> uh, they went for another light screen, which is really annoying. I'm just going for the Snarls on the Diana here. Uh, so I can keep regaining my health. This Umbreon was really tanky. Like, he really struggled against this Pokemon. Somehow, it just, he didn't kind of take it out quick enough. But I couldn't take out his Pokemon quick enough. And that's why I feel like I, not getting the damage on that Blaziken really mattered in this particular battle. Because, you know, when you have, like, longer battles, like, those little details, like, really do add up. You know what I mean? So... Yeah, just very unfortunate. 90. It's fine. Uh, yeah, going for more Drain Punches. I was like, oh, jeez. Or Drain Kisses, my bad. Uh, I just went for another Moonlight. That way I can, you know, live some more. Just go for another Snarl. Keep going. Keep accumulating that damage. The only thing I had going for myself was that they didn't really have the best means to heal themselves either. Especially, like, if she decided to switch out. Like, you know, that's just what would happen. Uh, I was scared for a crit, so that's why I went for another synchronize. I was like, you know, I just want to go for. I want to go back to full health and just be able to kill whatever comes in, or definitely live or something like that. So yeah, going for more snarls. Special attack drop. Light screen more down again. I was like, okay, he's definitely gonna set that up again, which is really annoying. Uh, oh, uh, they actually switch out again. I was like, uh, okay, that's fine. I mean, they definitely weren't doing as much damage as you, as they probably wanted, you know. And they're like, uh, they're probably just getting annoyed. Uh, so hitting the snarl on the Noivern there, which was pretty good. Uh, I think I actually missed one of these also, which is actually really unfortunate. Or actually, this guy got really lucky with the flinches. I was like, damn, I wish I had this luck. Okay, first of all, the critical hit. Which is great. And then got a flinch. I was like, damn, well, damn. So I was forced to go for the moonlight because I wanted to live. I was like, I really scared of getting flinched. Like, look at this. Like, I flinched again. I was just like, I knew it. That's why I'm going for the health. Um, <laughs> so it was really annoying. I was just scared that I was going to die here. It goes for another one. Thank God I didn't get flinched again. Okay. Just like, geez, this guy has some really good luck. Maybe it has King's Rock also. Like, it could be like that kind of set. So, yeah, I don't know. Uh, so, yeah, I don't, it's also good to note here. I wish I had more PP on Moonlight. That way I can play, you know, more of the wearing down. Because I actually didn't have that much against this, this guy's Pokemon. So, yeah. Getting that. Uh, they revealed that they had Roost. I was like, damn, okay, that's kind of annoying too. Uh, what did I go for here? I think I went for Moonlight. Oh, yeah, I went for another Moonlight my own health back uh yeah so i'm almost at full health but that was my last recovery so you gotta get that pp up man you gotta get that pp up so i was kind of just tired of the how slow this was getting so i finally decided dynamax here i was like if they stay in then my next hit would definitely kill and whatever else comes in i could lower their special defense and just go for it. the damage you know whatever uh if it was blaziken well, actually, you guys will see that I actually made a pretty bad play later on. Uh, so they went for a Dragon Pulse. I really did nothing. Uh, that's really great. So conserving my Umbreon's health as much as possible now that I don't have any means to heal myself. 
<clears throat> but I don't know if they, they don't know that. Just saying, but still, you know, <laughs> it's just how it goes. Uh, they go for another Dragon Pulse. They really are not doing anything, but you know, they're just stalling out my Dynamax, which is fine. I was just trying to kill this thing and not waste as much as my, of my uh, snarls as possible. I was trying to make good use of it. Because uh, I did have the throat spray up and I didn't want to switch out because I was trying to do more damage. You know if that makes sense. So here comes the blaze again. Uh, I was like, dude, what should I do? It's probably going to go for protect maybe. I'm not sure. Um, I was thinking uh, Leafeon, no. And... My, both my physical defensers, they, like, are weak to fire. Specifically Blaziken, like, dude, like, how are you? What? Well, then I guess, I guess Cinderace would also be a pretty good counter to my guys. Uh, so, I really need to make a counter for this guy. I don't know how. Which EV is the best? Well, my Vaporeon, but... Uh, for some reason, I found it hard to set up with them. So, that's kind of unfortunate. Uh, they go for the Max Knuckle. I was like, oh, damn, like... Uh, I don't know. I had a sense that maybe they were going to Dynamax their Blaze against. So I was like, should I go for the Max Guard? And I wish I did. They got a lucky critical to hit, too. Like, dude, like, what is going on? Like, why are they getting so lucky? And I got pretty lucky earlier. Like, you know, I would have had some more damage on that. Just saying, like, if I hit earlier. You know, you never know the course of a, of a battle, how it go. Uh, they reveal they have leftovers, so maybe they're more defensive. So, you know, they set up... They, they're defensive so they don't die they can set up their speed boost and the max knuckle like that's a pretty good strategy like i would i would definitely run the blaze skin like that or something or does it learn sword dance i would probably have sword dance i don't know just because uh so yeah they're going for another max knuckle uh that's gonna definitely kill me now um that's great fantastic uh now that they're pretty boosted and i don't get enough baby doll eyes that's why i wish before i went for the max guard so that way I would have blocked one of the Max Knuckles. And then I could have gone for Baby Doll Eyes once. And, you know, I would have lived the attack still probably. Because maybe it wouldn't have gotten a critical hit that time. Or whatever. Anyways, and then I could have gone for another one. So then they still would have been a neutral. If that makes sense. Instead of plus one right now. So that's where I messed up. Just saying. Maybe Vaporeon could have lived. You know, that's kind of what I was thinking. Um... And I was, I was like, okay, I'm going to go for Yawn. That way they're forced to switch out. You know, definitely if I live. But the craziest thing happens here. One second. Uh, they actually had Max Lightning. And they one-shot my Vaporeon. And I was like, what the heck? Of course they have Max Lightning. I guess that actually would make sense coming from a Blaziken. Like, you want to definitely kill those water types. So... Maybe I shouldn't be that salty because, you know, fair play, fair play. But still, I feel like if they were at neutral damage, I'm not sure if they would have killed my Vaporeon in one hit. Maybe they would have still. Like, whatever. Anyways, another unfortunate thing happens here. Like, they go for a Blaze Kick. That's all fine. Like, I live that just because I'm super physically. And then they got a burn. And I was like, no, that's terrible. <sighs> Uh, so yeah, they get still getting leftovers, and I'm just, I'm here feeling defeated, feeling, feeling a fool. Uh, they get some more speed boosts, that's great for them. Not for me, though. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. Whatever. Uh, it's also, their name is Reeve. Uh, this place can actually hard counters me, they have protect, that's, that's fantastic. Like, my dig's not gonna do anything now, like... If they didn't have protect, like definitely. If I didn't get burned, like I definitely would have taken it out with one hit. Like that's just a fact. But you know, here we are in this situation, right? Um, these things happen. These things happen. They they run protect. They run electric moves. Like why wouldn't why wouldn't Blaziken do that? What what why? why? <laughs> Anyways, uh, they they actually miss one 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 attack here, which is actually crazy. I get a synthesis off. Uh, maybe if I just went for three, like, Leaf Blades, I could have actually done more damage or something. I don't know. Uh, just, you know, that's my, what happens here. Like, you know, I was trying to go for the super effective dig, but it didn't happen. <clears throat> so, that was cool. I was like, okay, maybe I can get off <laughs> actually a hit and, uh, they get another attack off and I die. So, that's cool. We're right here under the wire. This has been a really long battle. I know. Uh, this is the last minute. And I think I only have one Pokemon anyways, and they're super effective, so it's like, 
you know, I'm definitely going to go down. They have already plus one attack. And, yeah, I mean, I'm not going to be able to do enough damage. This thing also has dig, so it already gets hard countered that way. They would still, you know, it wouldn't do anything. So that's why I just go for curse here. I was like, maybe they'll miss and I can do some more damage. Get a quick hit and somehow win. But, I mean, the battle's already going to end, so that's why, you know, they definitely won. So... Unfortunate play on my part. If I protected, maybe I could have done something else. We might have been able to live. You know, I would have outlasted maybe two all of his Dynamax. So the electric type attack wouldn't have been that much damage. Snarl could have got off. A lot of things. You know, <laughs> it just this is Pokemon. It happens. It's crazy. All right. Anyways, uh, on to the next battle. Then uh, the last battle here, I believe uh, it's against Alejandro. Ale Alejandro, Ale Lady Gaga is pretty cool. All right, don't nobody talk to me. Uh, Bad Romance, classic. Uh, what's that one song? Uh, it's so popular in 2007. Uh, okay, Alejandro has a Salamence, Scizor, Toxpec, Rotom, Ferrothorn, and uh, Ninetales. Uh, I was scared of the Ferrothorn killing my Leafeon. I mean, sorry, the. Well, actually, Ferrothorn just, like, kind of counters a lot of my team, too. Oh, well, my physical guy's, like, really hard. I mean, not Jolteon, but, you know, you'll see that that's why I went for it. But, you know, some some unfortunate things happen. You know, some things just happen. Alejandro looks really cool there with the strike and poses. He's, like, karate, like, ready to battle. But he's, like, he's, like, Matrix vibes, bro. Like, I like it. It's cool. <laughs> Uh, is anyone planning to watch Matrix? Uh, you know, maybe invite me. All right, sick. I'll watch it for sure. Uh, anyways, uh, Scizor. I was like, okay, I'm gonna go for Acid Armor. Maybe it might go for Swords Dance. I'm not sure. You know, I'm not sure what's gonna happen. Like, that's why I go for these, these moves. Uh, I forgot what happened. I think they went for U-Turn and they missed, which was really lucky for me because, um, I'm running the Bright Powder. So they're probably like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> uh thinking back now i probably should have had leftovers on vaporeon or something just to have more sustainability you know uh anyways they get a critical hit here so that's kind of lucky on their part like okay that's really annoying uh i'd rather have uh, whatever. Anyway. Ferrothorn, so they kind of hard count to me here because i can't really do anything to this thing because uh yeah but I do get off a of yawn, so that was kind of important there. Um, I was like, this thing's probably gonna switch out, so I was gonna go for just like hit damage with the IQ here. You know? Maybe they'll go for the power up and kill me. Uh, but they, yeah, they decided to switch out to uh, going into Toxapec. This is a really annoying Pokemon. Uh, if you guys didn't notice, their team's actually kind of bulky and kind of like, you know, that side of Pokemon. Which is fine, you know, I, I take aspects from that too sometimes, you know? It could definitely help out being defensive or offensive or whatever for whatever situation. Uh, they're checking to see what I'm going to do. I'm going to go for Yawn because I don't know what this thing's going to do to me. Maybe they're going to toxic me or something. I don't know. And they'll probably switch out or whatever. And that's just what that's just the game here. You know, that's what happens. Uh, so, yeah, going for Yawn. I was like, OK, they're taking it. So I think they're going to do something to me and then probably switch out. Uh, they have toxic spikes. So I was like, oof, that's kind of annoying. Um, you know none of the evolutions are poison which i would definitely have i would definitely love a poison form just saying poison and rock or dragon like or steel or fighting just, just do them all jesus uh the ancient form there could be like an ancient easy form <gasps> what if there's like an ancient dragon form because like Eevee's is just crazy i don't even know that would be crazy okay anyways uh they go back into person uh, they probably think that, oh, I'm a special type, so, or something, I don't know. Um, or, I think I missed the pinless. Oh, no, 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 no. No, they definitely just looked out, because that's just how. Uh, I was like, if the first one's here, like, I'm tired of Pokemon, so I'll just say, I'm just gonna show you my focus. And, I kinda, seen this play also over to this, uh, which is kinda unfortunate, but, Sometimes I do that. Sometimes I'll listen. Okay, he's definitely going to switch out or 
something else is gonna happen you know i just never know people people are unexpected sometimes so that's just what makes pokemon pretty crazy too anyways uh yeah going for max knuckle i do like uh pretty okay damage also considering um, jolteon's attack isn't the best in the in the whole galaxy uh right now it's it's still nobody's lost any pokemon uh so they did withdraw and i was like oof that's kind of lame. um i just went for another max knuckle i believe um See, right here is where I think I might have been able to get a kill if I went for the lightning attack. But I was like, what if they go for Baneful Bunker or they switch back out to Ferrothorn? See, that's that's what I was thinking here. That's that's where the mind games is going and he already switched out. So I was thinking, okay, he wouldn't have a problem switching out again. You know, pivoting. That's a, that's a thing in Pokemon. Just like, so I was like, oh man, what is he going to do? He's going to go back to Ferrothorn and my electric attack is not going to do that much. He's going to go for Baneful Bunker. I wasn't sure what this guy's gonna do. I thought he was gonna switch out. So that's why I went for the max knuckle. Uh, I was like, damn, oof, they didn't, they didn't attack me. So that's kind of annoying. And the fact that I'm poisoned is really bad. So uh, you guys will see in this game. Actually, I feel like the poison was the most like the craziest thing. So I mean, that's why I think they added more toxic spikes because they were just trying to stall me and make sure the toxic was doing more damage. If that makes sense. Uh, so I definitely should have went for the lightning move. I feel like maybe I could have killed this toxic pick. And then I would have moved on to the next Pokemon, right? That would have been at least one Pokemon down with the Dynamax. So anyways, just going for Thunder Fang here. Not sure what this thing's going to do. Maybe they're going to switch. Okay. Uh, they do switch out. I think. Uh, okay, go to Scizor. I'm not sure why Scizor. I don't know. So going for Thunder Fang, it does pretty good damage as you can see. So I feel like that would have definitely taken out Toxpec if I was Dynamax. So that could have been killed. And then I guess they would have sent a Scizor and I would have been doing already this damage, right? Uh, they go for Bullet Punch. I guess they just didn't want to do that much, take that much damage. And they're thinking the poison is going to kill me. So going for another Thunder Fang. Nice, Scizor is down. We actually got one Pokemon down. So that was kind of a good thing. And Jolteon is around for one more turn so but i think they could go for the baneful bunker here if i'm not mistaken and you know with the tox spec which is really annoying moves like protect man i guess they go really well, well with poison type strategies or you know also if they need a heal or whatever i could have switched out honestly and then maybe like you know i didn't have to lose because that that would have been an obvious play and i, I didn't have to lose my jolty on there I could have used it for one more attack or something, you know, or for fodder, whatever. It happens. It happens. Um, so I was thinking here, uh, Leafy on is super effective with the dig, but you know, I don't know. Mentali is on the future site side. So I was thinking, Hmm, this could do a lot of damage. You know, if I definitely, if I go for fake tears too, I was like, okay, uh, I don't know. I wish synchronize. Uh, well, actually, this guy's poison, so that wouldn't even matter. Anyway, so yeah, I just decided to go into Leafeon. I was like, maybe I can get some Swords Dance going, and you know, try to try to predict this guy out. You know what I mean? With the the baneful bunkers, because he might think, oh, I might think, oh, he's gonna attack this time or that time. It's all mind games. And I also have synthesis. So I was like, maybe I can get off like another attack if I'm lucky or something. You know, if he goes for baneful bunker or gets some health back, I mean. But I should watch it also because this guy does have um, poison types. But I was thinking maybe he doesn't have a poison attack. You know, sometimes that happens because he has recover, baneful bunker, toxic spikes, and scalds. So yeah, he definitely didn't have that. So that's kind of my advantage there, knowing that. Uh, I definitely needed a bunch of sword dance to kill, like Salamence to kill Rotom with the grass because it has levitate. <laughs> Like, damn, like, he definitely had a lot of calculus to my team, like, you know what I mean? Uh, so I was like, okay, this guy's definitely not going to go for uh, Baneful Moker in that time. It almost dies there, and I was like, okay, it's definitely going to go for Baneful Moker this time. So that's why I was like, I'm definitely going to go for Swords Dance. Because with that damage, like, I could have probably killed it, you know. So, yeah. You see, like, this thing would have been gone already. Like, that would have been way better. Because I guess maybe they didn't have, like, the biggest answer to my leafy on. I don't know. Anyway, so yeah, just going for another sword stance. Because I knew it was going to go for a Bankful Bunker. 
Look at the mind games, dude. Look at the mind games. And now I'm definitely gonna go for sword stance here. The poison damage is racking up. This guy still has HP from Black Sludge. Oof, look at that. That's not that's not feeling good anymore. Alright, going for a leaf blade. Uh, I'm not sure if they're gonna switch out or something or whatever, whatever they can do. So they're probably going to Ferrothorn. I was like, oof, this is what I was scared of from the very beginning. Um Look at that, like damn, like that's not doing anything. That's so great. And I'm getting hurt too. It's just it's just it's great right here. He also has rocket helmet. Nothing is going well for me here. <sighs> tis, tis how it goes, you know, when you can't run, I guess, exactly whatever you want. Surprisingly, every leaf, every, like, EV, they don't have, like, the best moveset, if that makes sense. Like, it's very predictable because they have, like, a very limited what they can learn, especially. So, I, that's what I feel like. I don't know. I don't know. I need to check out what's like been the best EV team in the world. LOL. Probably Pit Knight. That's definitely true. Pit Knight is the best player in the world. Like he should definitely. Like I understand probably why he doesn't go into competitions. He's probably just gonna kill everybody. Anyways, uh, not kill everybody. LOL. Jesus, that's not cool. Anyways, uh, Rodan comes in. Um, on my dig. Another thing I was scared of. They're just they're taunting me at this point. Like look at me. I got two health. I barely lived to rise up the dig like i should have just died in the freaking hole and i would have been buried at least right i could have died with some dignity uh i was like okay rotom i have a porion super effective maybe i can outspeed but uh you know it also has that electric type so i was like okay let's just come in tali like i don't know what's gonna go on i can just go for fake tears reflect something doesn't matter we'll see what's gonna happen getting poisoned uh which is very unfortunate I wish this thing had magic bounce. If this thing had magic bounce, I might have been able to switch it into tox specs. Maybe knowing it was going to go for that or something. Or, the, or I could have had at least my poison on their side. But then again, they could have sent in tox spec to avoid that. But I could have, you know, done some mind games with future sight. You know, and all this out all makes sense. But yeah, definitely. This is what happens though if you don't invest in your Pokemon. Uh, fortunately, Rona has freaking dark pulse. And I was like, okay, that's great. I didn't know that. Oh, uh, that's cool. Maybe going off kind of like it's a ghost Pokemon still. You know, that kind of thing. Uh, so I was thinking, okay, I'm going to go for fake tears. Maybe something else can kill it. Uh, but uh, I always forget that these things freaking run Volt Switch. So I should probably just go for more damage. So that's unfortunate uh, on my part. It was running the Life Orb, getting more damage. Pretty nice. Uh, I don't run any Rotoms. But I feel like the best Rotom, just in my opinion, is literally the Ghost and the Electric one. I'm gonna make a set. That's I'm gonna. That's gonna be an idea. Watch out for that. Okay. Rotom, Ghost, and an Electric. And I don't know what else I'll do. Uh, all right. They sent us in uh, their uh, vape. Or sorry, Nine Tails. I was like, all right, you know, I'll send in my Ice type Pokemon to you, even though I'm not good against Special Defense. So I don't know what I was thinking there. I'm definitely crazy. But I thought the Hail could heal me. You know, that would be great. Also, I know he's taking a lot of damage there from the Stone Edge, too. Or, sorry, the Stealth Rock. Uh, so, I was like, okay, I'm going to go for a Curse. Uh, I wasn't sure what this thing was going to do exactly. Uh, or actually, I went for Yawn, so that way I can uh, definitely go for a Curse after. You know, if it decides to stay in or something. Getting that nice Ice Body health back. They're taking the future attack finally, so that that was kind of cool. That was a kind of little little play there, getting my health back. So, you know, I'm not looking the worst in the world right now. I think I, I have more health now than when I switched in, so that's pretty good with the hail. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go for curse because they're definitely gonna switch out. They, I didn't. They I know that they don't want to be sleeping. Like, you know, it's a, it's a fine place, especially when you have Pokemon that probably hard counter. The Pokemon anyway. So that's kind of what the problem was with this Eevee team. Like I kind of needed to set up or do some things. But I, I guess a very smart opponent that just knows you can just switch out. Definitely was like that. I didn't have a team that can just switch out though. If that makes sense. Does that make sense? I think that makes sense. 
<laughs> Anyways, that's the, that's what I'm saying about Eevee. Like, it didn't have like the best move pool. I couldn't just like have this Glaceon. I wish I had freaking Fire Fang or something. You know. Uh, so yeah, I'm getting pretty countered here. I have three Pokemon left. Like, it's really looking not too good on this side of the field. <laughs> I was like, okay, how much how much damage am I actually doing? Look at that attack. Attack, 88 plus, uh, let me do it, 1.5. A thumping 132, a 132 attack. And that, that's on par with my minus, my minus nature in special attack. Like, oh, look at that damage. Still taking damage. I like, I don't even know how, like, I, I don't, I'm not even touching him. That's, that's ice. I demand Nintendo looks into this or something because I'm just gen genuinely pissed off. That's the only reason he lived. I would have, I, I would have won. Uh, hail stops. That's great. Not doing damage to Ferrothorn anymore. That's like another thing I had going on there. I was like, damn, I don't have anything other than I guess Umbreon here, which can go for you know some snarls. I guess to go on the special defense side, but I'm guessing. It's not going to be doing the most damage to Ferrothorn. Plus, I'm getting poisoned. <laughs> uh, you guys see, like, as I explain more, like, the more dreadful it gets. Like, he still has four of the Pokemon after this. Like, it's just, it's not happening. Look at that thumping damage, but it's it's fine because I'm going to have a special attack raise. And it's definitely going to have a critical hit next next hit so I can win. Uh, they go for Leech Seed. Uh, that's fine. They're just going <laughs> to stall me out. Get some health back, like, jeez, man, let me get all... <sighs> they, uh, they actually heal more than I'm doing damage here now, so that's kind of, like, really unfortunate. But, you know, maybe with my special attack bonus, maybe that won't be true. Uh, I also have Moonlight, <laughs> like, but I'm just, that's, I'm not doing as much damage as I should be. That was kind of the issue with this team, it wasn't doing as much damage, I guess. But, yeah, I mean, this guy definitely... Alejandro was playing it very smart, very smart. I'm not gonna lie. Damn, Alejandro hit up a a tournament, man. BGC, BG. Anyways, uh, I should definitely do that too. Um, maybe I'll do a video one day, and I should I should definitely look up like right now, like when our tournament's starting and stuff. That's on the to do to do list, everybody. To do list. All right, <clears throat> going for baby doll eyes. I was like, okay, maybe if a poor young can live, I can somehow. I mean, I'm gonna die by the poison. That's what I'm saying. Like, the poison really messed me up here. Like, and they were just doing damage. They were just accumulating it all over the place. All over the damn place. <laughs> uh, okay. So that goes that. Um, they're getting more health back. Uh, Vaporeon is my last hope here. Hoping for, for a clutch bright powder. Um, <laughs> yeah. That's just the fact here i'm pretty sure they haven't even dynamax either like that's kind of the situation that's like sad too all right going for ice beam hoping for uh nice freeze hacks critical hit something just like something like you know what i mean like something power up doesn't even have that much accuracy and it's just it's just hitting oh man it's just it's it's a disaster all right thank you everybody for watching uh that was my shiny eevee team alejandro got it in him Thank you for watching. Have a good day. Bye.